Hey what's up you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi hello I'm Lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button join the growing family turn notifications on and while you're down there give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out now today I'm going to be talking about benzodiazepines and anxiety Now before we get into this, yes I'm talking about benzos, no I'm not an addict, no I'm not obsessed, yes I take them. So anxiety can be managed with medication and there are non-benzo medications such as propanol, progabalin, what else is there, protiopine, antidepressants, I'm not going to list all of them, and then there's benzodiazepines. Personally I've tried other medications, I've tried progabalin, I've tried propanolol, I've tried antidepressants, nothing helped. And when I was in hospital a few years ago, more than a few years ago, about five years ago, I went to Milton Keynes Psychiatric Hospital and I was started on clonazepam, which genuinely helped me a lot. At first it made me quite sleepy, which is to be expected, clonazepam is quite a strong benzodiazepine. Um, and I, suddenly I just didn't have anxiety anymore. I, I was able to interact with other people on the ward and genuinely helped. So why am I making this video? I'm making this video because I want to raise awareness for benzodiazepines and the good they can do. It's all well and good assuming everyone who takes benzos is an addict but that very simply isn't the case. Like this week for example I had to miss a dose on Monday because I didn't have it with me because I was in Somerset and basically I was fine. I, still, I had anxiety, a lot of anxiety, and I was getting on a train, but I powered through. Now I know other people who take benzodiazepines for anxiety, it, irritation, anger, and it just calms you down. That's how benzodiazepines work, they calm you down. For example, I take clonazepam every day, and I take lorazepam whenever I go out, because going out gives me really bad panic attacks. Like, I can't just go outside and have a day out. I have to take lorazepam to do that, so it is quite hard. Benzodiazepines aren't scary. I will admit when I was first prescribed diazepam in Lancashire, I was absolutely terrified of it. In fact, I didn't take it the first two days I had it. Um, then I took one and it didn't really do anything, but I carried on taking it because I thought maybe it is doing something, because I can do, I can do stuff. My point is my anxiety is crippling. And without benzodiazepines I can't function in the world. I'm not ashamed to say that I take clonazepam and lorazepam. I took diazepam for about a year and I was on 10 milligrams of it four times a day. Diazepam never did anything for me but I didn't have a psychiatrist then because I was under the crisis team and not a mental health, community mental health team. So when I was in hospital I mentioned to a psychiatrist and she switched me from diazepam to clonazepam and honestly it helped me so much and it still helps me. Like people don't realise how bad my anxiety actually is. Like my grandparents didn't realise how bad my anxiety is until they spent a week with me. There was two days that I literally couldn't leave the caravan given it was also raining so they didn't want to leave the caravan but I literally couldn't bring myself to go outside. It's sad really. It is. I can't pretend that it's normal, but you can only go grow through what you go through. They shouldn't be a first call for, for anxiety because there are many other medications for anxiety. In my experience, if something has the potential to help, use it. And I know there's a lot of stigma around taking benzodiazepines such as you're gonna get addicted to it. Truth is you only become addicted to it when you misuse it. So misusing it is what causes addiction. Like I said I can go without it. I can't go out but I can go without it. I don't get cravings for it. If something has the potential to help consider it. So yeah, I talked about my experience with benzos and what my thoughts are. Genuinely I don't think they're as addictive as people make out. People make out like if you start taking them you're going to become an addict. Straight away like, you're an addict. 
and that's not the case at all. I've been taking benzos for eight years, which is a long fucking time. Personally, I just believe that benzos get a lot of bad rap. I know Alana made a video talking about her her thoughts on benzos, and I'll link that on the iCard up there. If you don't know who Alana is, Alana's my friend. She is in Australia, and we're friends. <laughs> we might live through the side of the world, but we're friends. So go check out Alana's video, support Alana, subscribe to Alana. My honest advice is if your GP or your psychiatrist recommends Benzoas, give them a try. You're not going to become an addict at this click of a finger. You know, it's... You do build up a tolerance to them over the years. Most people are only on benzos for a short period of time, but this is my long time. I've been on them long term, and there's nothing wrong with me. I'm not saying it's the same for everybody because everyone has different tolerance levels, and some people's will become dependent on them. Maybe one day I won't need it. And I hope that comes around because I don't like being on medication. But yeah. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Peace.